A 60-year-old female presented with hepatocellular carcinoma in the right lobe of a non serotic liver. It involved segments 5, 6, 7, 8, and extended into segment 4A as well. A tumor thrombus extended from the right hepatic vein into the inferior vena cava and up into the right atrium. An extended right hepatectomy. Resection of segments 5, 6, 7, 8, a portion of segment 4A, and the caudate lobe is planned. The transection plane will cross the origin of the left hepatic vein, and the cava will be transected above and below the liver. The procedure will begin by mobilizing the liver, followed by cholecystectomy. The right hepatic artery will be divided. The right portal vein will be divided. Inflow to the caudate will also be divided. The liver will be transected along the planned margin. To maintain hemodynamic stability during cable cross clamping, a veno veno bypass circuit will be set up. In conjunction, an in situ cold perfusion of the liver will be set up to reconstruct the cava and the left hepatic vein in a bloodless field. The infrahepatic cava will be clamped above the renal veins, and the right atrium will be clamped above the thrombus. The veno veno bypass will be initiated. The left hepatic vein will be divided. and the remnant liver will be perfused with ice-cold preservation solution through the portal vein catheter. The infrahepatic cava and suprahepatic cava will be divided. The specimen will then be removed. To maintain hemodynamic stability during reconstruction, in situ cold perfusion of the left lobe and veno-veno bypass will continue to run. The cava will be reconstructed with a PTFE graft, followed by reconstruction of the left hepatic vein. Cable clamps will be removed, followed by removal of the in-situ cold perfusion and the veno-veno bypass cannulas.